Forget about all the doomsday prepper fantasy BS when it comes to bug out guns. Walking around like you're in the apocalyptic wasteland adorned in a leather g-string and carrying a tricked out AK-47 is as good as taping a please don't loot me sign on your back. Same goes for a lot of the other tactical crap a lot of preppers are packing for an SHTF evacuation scenario. If you're looking for something light, versatile, rugged, and concealable, even in your bug out bag, that will still help you pack the firepower you need to be protected when you're en route to your safe zone, then check out my list of the firearms that can actually save your life in those crazy life or death situations. Beretta CX4 Carbine and Beretta 92FS 9mm Luger. The idea of having a PCC and a handgun that accept both the same ammunition and magazines is hardly original, but that doesn't mean it isn't practical. The Beretta 92FS holds the distinction of being one of the most iconic, but also reliable and long-lasting duty pistols in history. Besides their inherent reliability, Beretta 92 pistols are noted for their slick actions and fixed barrel design that aids in accuracy. Beretta 92 magazines are also fairly easy to find and affordable, and come in many different capacities, including 15, 17, 18, 20, and 30 rounds. The Beretta CX-4 is a futuristic-looking and highly ergonomic pistol-caliber carbine that's been manufactured by Beretta since 2003. It features controls that can be easily swapped between sides to accommodate both right-handed and left-handed shooters and comes with sling mounts and accessory rails on the top and sides to accept scopes, red dot sights, lasers, or flashlights. The magazines are loaded behind the trigger in order to mimic the operation of a pistol. Thanks to its shorter length, the CX-4 is a highly maneuverable weapon, which makes it ideal for tight corners or as a truck gun. Recoil is also very light and controllable. The primary benefit to having a PCC and handgun that share commonality in magazines is obvious. You only need to have one type of magazine on your person that can be used to reload either weapon. Furthermore, the 9mm round will experience superior velocity in ballistics when shot out of the 16-inch barrel of your CX-4 versus the 4.9-inch barrel of your 92. All in all, having a Beretta 92FS holstered on your hip and with a CX-4 slung across your chest, will represent a formidable defensive combo for any SHTF scenario. Double Folder This is an AR pistol that becomes ultra-compact when folded into thirds. Equipped with Deadfoot Arms Modified Cycle System, one can fire the gun after swinging the barrel assembly back into place. The footprint of the Double Fold AR is very small, barely longer than the receiver itself at 10 and 3 quarters inches. This rifle caliber firearm not only can fit into a backpack, it can fit into a small soft-sided lunch cooler. This makes it ideally suited for concealing in a non-conspicuous carrying case. The Fold AR system holds repeated zero after folding and unfolding countless times, and Fold AR has used independent third-party testing to confirm this. You'll need a small device to unlock the cam lever to fold the rifle, and this can be something as simple as the shell casing. Caliber options include 5.56 NATO, 300 Blackout, and 6.5 Grendel depending on the model. The Double Fold AR produces the smallest possible AR in the world, making it a great bug out gun, and is my personal favorite of all of these systems. Caltech Sub 2000 The Caltech Sub 2000 is a unique folding rifle that comes in pistol calibers, specifically 40 SW and 9mm. The gun feeds from a wide variety of different pistol magazines from different manufacturers. When folded in half, the Sub 2000 sports an overall length of only 16 and a quarter inches. Unfolded, the rifle is still a short 30.5 inches. It weighs in at only four and a quarter pounds and fits well into a standard backpack or even a messenger bag. The Sub 2000 comes in both Gen 1 and Gen 2 models, and the various models can take Glock, s and Canic, Beretta 9296 series, and SIG magazines. It's quite a bit more potent than the previously mentioned rimfires, making it a better dangerous animal gun and an excellent close-range gun for medium game. A very simple blowback system means it's quite reliable. It does have more recoil than a standard carbine due to this system, but 
it is still easy to control. The sights are okay, nothing special, but plenty usable out to 100 yards. Adding optics to the gun is tricky, but doable. With the right defensive rounds, the gun will cause some serious damage to anything. I suggest a solid round something like 147 grain 9mm JHP or even a fancy hard cast load. A 180 grain 40 SW load will deal with some hurt too. Mossberg 590A1 12 gauge. The 12 gauge pump action shotgun is one of the most versatile weapons you can bug out with because of its ammunition. Buckshot rounds are devastating for self defense at close ranges. Birdshot can be used for bird and small game hunting, and slugs can be used for big game hunting within moderate distances if needed. The Mossberg 590A1 is essentially a Mossberg 590 with a few crucial upgrades designed to boost its durability and combat effectiveness. To this end, it comes with a thickened barrel, a parkerized finish, a metal trigger group, and a safety on the rear receiver, and even a bayonet lug at the end of the barrel. As a testament to its durability, the 590A1 is notable for being the only shotgun to pass the US Army's grueling pump-action shotgun torture test back in the 1980s, and is still seeing service to this day. Kiapa Little Badger The Kiapa Little Badger found a spot on the list due to how well it fits all of my standards. It's the lightest rifle on the list, likely the most affordable, and it is extremely versatile. This folding rifle is chambered in either 22 LR, 22 Magnum, or 17 HMR. It weighs 2.9 pounds and comes with four shot rails to attach accessories to. The small peep sights are quite adjustable and very easy to use. The gun folds in half to be only roughly 17 inches long. It's super thin and fits in a backpack with hardly any room taken up. While the 22 LR version is excellent, the 22 Magnum variant will pack more of a punch. This would likely be a better choice for a survival rifle for its game getting abilities. The gun is very easy to operate. All you have to do is load the gun, close it up, cock the hammer, and pull the trigger. Simplicity also means it's not going to fail because you forgot to clean it. It's not a rapid fire weapon, but with well aimed shots, you can quickly get dinner and kill off snakes, coyotes, and other pests. It's less than $200, and even outside of a survival rifle, it's a cool toy to play with. Also, the threaded barrel makes it very easy to suppress.